So with multicolor being the next big thing, a lot of companies have decided to introduce multicolor printers, along with their multicolor CFS, their AMS, or Ace Pro like Anycubic. And speaking of Anycubic, they're getting ready to drop the Cobra 3 V2. And you might be wondering, why a V2 of the Cobra 3? Well, with the Cobra 3, there was some issues with that printer. Now, I don't own one personally, but I did do my research, and if you go online, you could probably see what I'm talking about. So, Anycubit reached out, and they sent me all the specs on the new Cobra 3 V2. And it looks like they've listened to the feedback and addressed several customer concerns. So in this video, I'm gonna go over what some of those are and tell you some of the new features, what you can expect from the Cobra 3 V2. So with the Cobra 3 V2 being the next evolution of the Cobra 3, it's been meticulously refined to address user feedback, enhance performance, and elevate its competitive edge in the market. This upgraded version introduces optimizations and improvements to both the Cobra 3 and the Cobra 3 combo. Now, what Anycubic is saying is that when they release the Cobra 3 V2, they're also going to be releasing some updated software that if you own the Cobra 3, you'll also be able to take advantage of some of these changes, which I think that's pretty cool. Now, some of these changes aren't nominal. They're not huge, and some of them kind of are. But nonetheless, let's go over those real quick. So it looks like the Y-axis widened from 40 millimeters to 60 millimeters, enhancing motion stability. They've redesigned the X-axis with increased contact points, improving reciprocating motion precision. Now here's one I'm not 100% sure what it means because again, I don't have the machine in front of me, but it says it improved eccentric nut installation. <laughs> uh, yeah. And from what it says, this ensures better alignment between bearings and rails, reducing wobble. A really cool feature that they're offering on the Cobra 3 V2 is regional leveling, which means the printer will automatically take a look at your file and it will only level the bed in the area that your print's going to be, which it saves a lot of time when you're doing leveling and you're just wanting to print and you're sitting there waiting forever for it to level the whole bed. When you're doing a little file this big, it makes no sense to do the whole bed. So yeah, good job Anycubic for that one. And it looks like this will be one of the features that's actually pushed out on a software update and the Cobra 3 users will also be able to take advantage of that. The Cobra 3 V2 is actually coming with the camera. I mean, surprise, it's 2025. But yeah, it's coming with the camera and it's gonna be 720p. And from what the notes say, if you have a Cobra 3, and it's not 720p, somehow they're gonna push out a software update to be able to enable 720p on your camera on the Cobra 3. So you're probably wondering, how big is the build plate? So the build plate is 255 by 255 by 260, but the print volume is only 250 by 250 by 260. But it looks like they're pushing out a software update to enable you to use the 255 by 255 by 260. And it'll also be available to the Cobra 3 in that software update. And of course the V2 is compatible with the Ace Pro, the eight color multicolor solution. And the really cool thing about the Ace Pro that I really wish the CFS on the Creality machines had is it has a built-in heater. I mean, nowadays that's just common sense that you need to have that. So I'd really be surprised with anyone that comes out with a multicolor system that doesn't have a built-in heater. The one good thing is, it looks like they followed suit with the S1 and it's getting the same nozzle. So you don't have to worry about those pesky leaks that some of the other nozzles had. And another cool thing I noticed is that the extruder gears are stainless steel metal. They're not plastic. So you don't even have to mod those once you get them. So that's cool. And it looks like you'll be able to heat up the nozzle up to 300 C and the bed, it only goes up to 110. And it's being shipped with the 0.4 brass nozzle. So if you want to print engineering filaments, you'll need to swap it out to a hardened steel nozzle so if you're ordering it I would go ahead and order a hardened steel nozzle for it now and just like every other printer of this caliber it can do print speeds of up to 600 millimeters a second and that's pretty much standard for printers nowadays it looks like the filament dryer can go up to 55 C so you won't be able to dry polycarbonates nylon stuff like that but honestly you're probably not going to be printing those type of materials on this printer anyways I feel that a printer like this is is more geared towards PLA and silk and 
Possibly some TPU. I'd be interested to see if it can print TPU and do it well. It definitely won't be able to do it from the multicolor Ace system, but I'd be interested to see if it could print from the side spool or top spool. So I guess when we get one, we'll have to try it out. And the cool thing about the filament dryer on the Ace is that it has active filament drying, which means you can set it at a set temp and it will maintain that temperature for you. That's really good, any cubic. Good job. And another feature the V2 has, it has one click vibration compensation. So kind of like input shaping, uh, you're basically just gonna be able to switch it on, switch it off. If you think you need it, I would probably use it. And kind of like some of the other printers that I have, when it has an error, it's gonna pop up a QR code on the screen that you can basically scan with your phone and it'll take you straight to kind of a wiki page to help you troubleshoot some of those issues. Another good thing is it looks like you're going to have power loss and filament run out resume printing, which means if you lose power, you'll be able to just go back to printing once you get power again. Or if you run out of filament, it's not killing your whole print. Again, that's pretty standard for printers nowadays, but you know, it's worth mentioning that you're definitely going to have it on the V2 along with real time monitoring. So you'll be able to use the Anycubic app and the slicer to be able to monitor your prints and make sure that nothing crazy is going on. And also with the real time monitoring, Monitoring, it'll let you know if you have spaghetti issues or abnormalities on your print bed. And honestly, I think the craziest thing about this whole Cobra 3 V2 is the price point. You're getting a full color 3D printer combo system for $4.99, but they're running sales on this thing. And if you catch the pre-sale or their Amazon sale, you can get it for as low as $379. That's just absolutely nuts. So it's very competitively priced. I can say that for sure. Because you got the Creality High and then the Bamboo A1 that are all in that price range, some higher than others. But I feel like the Cobra 3 V2 is definitely at a great price. Now time will tell because once we get the printer and actually put our hands on it and determine whether it's actually worth that money and it does everything that they say they're gonna do, so don't get this video twisted. This is not me promoting that machine because obviously I can't promote a machine that I don't have in my hands. I'm simply telling you guys some of the features of the machine and what to expect when it drops. But make sure you're subscribed because whenever I get the machine, I'll definitely run it through a bunch of tests and do a bunch of prints on it and let you guys know what I think about it. So you might wanna go join our Discord. It's an all new Discord server, the Stay Ready to 3D Print Discord server, where you can actually earn XP just for chatting. You can then use your XP to gain bitchy coins and then later you can trade those bitchy coins for real products, filament, filament dryers, 3D printing accessories, and more. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to go chat in some other 3D printing group where you earn nothing. You can simply come over here and chat and learn a bunch while you're at it and gain XP and get free stuff. And we're also hosting our giveaways in Discord now. So if you wanna be a part of all of our giveaways, then you'll definitely wanna join the Discord. So I'll leave a link to the Cobra 3 V2 in the description along with the Discord link. So until next time, stay ready to 3D print.